Hello, my name is Shai, and I would like to show you how I use math nodes in my shaders. This video is aimed towards beginners, but it is a fun overview for anyone to watch. Let's start with the add and subtract operation. If we have a gradient like this, we can add to it to shift it left or right. And if we have noise, we can add it to the gradient to distort it. If we subtract or add to the noise, we can still shift it left or right. If I have noise plugged into my shader's roughness input, I can add or subtract to increase or decrease the roughness. I can also multiply this gradient. If you're new to shading, multiply basically lets you change the opacity of things. And we can always go past 1. If I multiply by 5 and use a sine operation, we can make sine waves. This multiply input now acts as a scaling slider. If we don't want a gradient and we want this to be a defined shape, we can use a greater than or less than operation. Greater than basically gives you a threshold value. Everything above this threshold will be given a value of 1, and everything below it will be given a value of 0. Here I'm sliding it left or right, and because we have a gradient, it's basically a slider. The inverse is true for the less than. Next is the absolute operation. Absolute flips all negatives, so if we use a less than operation now, we get this thickness slider. If we use a compare node, we have two values. You can think of it like this. The top value selects a value you have in your input, and the epsilon changes the thickness. Because I have a gradient, it starts out at 0, and 1 is to the right, negative 1 is to the left. If we have a circle, we can use the compare node to make a ring. If we have this gradient, we can multiply to get values over 1. We can use the floor or ceiling function to snap it to integers. We can also use the fraction operation. I'm going to use grease pencil to explain what this does. Our input is a gradient like this. Higher y positions means higher values. You can think of it like this. If we have a gradient input here and we use a fraction operation, we're basically subtracting by 1 every time it goes past 1. That means after our fraction operation, our result would look a bit like this. And that's what we see here. Because I multiplied by 10, I have 10 of these sawtooth gradients on either side. If I multiply by 2, we get 4. You can do some cool things with these gradients. I think it's important to know the shortcuts for math nodes. The shortcuts for add is A, subtract is S, less than is T, greater than is G, absolute is B, multiply is M. And that was an overview of some of the most useful math operations and their shortcuts. This piece of paper and its fire was made using only math operations. It runs in Cycles and Eevee, and it is fully procedural. There are zero image textures used. The paper itself is just a procedural shader. Even the holes are a Voronoi texture. I've also made a microphone animation using only math nodes. The main takeaway from this is that math nodes have pretty simple operations, but when combined, they can be used to make tons of shapes. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Subscribe for more.